Showtime Boxing, Frank Martin versus Artem Harutanan. Full fight recap. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Now, I just watched Frank Martin versus Artem Harutanan. Congratulations, Frank Martin. Won via unanimous decision. It was a fun fight. It was tougher than some people, which I'll talk about later in this video, expected. But not me, though. So, this fight, early in the fight, you had Artem Harutanan when he was on full energy. He was just really an awkward fighter. He was pretty mobile and had some guile and moving around. He was trying to land his shots throughout the fight. He landed some good, subtle, sneaky body shots. One was pretty, you know, pretty significant in one of the mid rounds on Frank Martin. And it looked like Frank Martin had to like, you know, take a pace back. Frank Martin, for his performance, See, this is the thing with boxing. I tell you guys all the time, the age-old adage, styles make fights. Frank Martin is a patient, poised, cool, calm, collected gunslinger. Frank Martin is an explosive sharpshooter like Bret Hart. Bret the hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, right? He's a sharpshooter, and he explodes seemingly out of nowhere. So he likes to take his time and... That's what I seen in this particular fight. In the first, let's say the first five or six rounds, you had a very patient Frank Martin. I liked a lot of what he was doing. I think he was landing the harder shots, but they were far and few in between. Like he wasn't necessarily like it did it wasn't punches and bunches. Like the other dude was just he he gave the presence of looking busier because he was moving a lot, real fidgety. He was real squirrely, real fidgety. But the Showtime commentary, you know, I give you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good was it was a good fight, and Frank Martin stays undefeated, man down promotions. But this is the bad. The bad was Showtime's commentary. I thought Showtime's commentary was honestly god-awful. They were seemingly riding Harutanan, and no matter what he did, it seemed like he could do no wrong. He was, I guess, in their belief, doing better than they expected. And they were saying weird things. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. They kept comparing this fight and saying, oh, who thought he would be here by now? Who thought he would still be standing? You know, after his fight with Michelle Rivera, who thought that Harutanon would still be here? Boxing does not work like that. Frank Martin dominated Michel Rivera in December, and that was a scintillating performance. The guy in front of him, completely different attributes, like Michel Rivera looked to be taller, completely different fighters, right? Different experience levels, amateur and pro. This dude, as I keep saying, was squirrely. He was moving around. He came out with a level of confidence, so he... He didn't wait. You know, he was trying to get busy. He came to fight. And the Showtime commentators, they were seemingly almost over crediting him for anything he would do as if it was the most impressive stuff that they had ever seen. Meanwhile, they were bypassing the beautiful work. Maybe it was too subtle for them by Frank Martin. I think Frank Martin defensively looked very sharp. Like he wasn't the shots he got hit with most people would get hit with them because the guy was just awkward. Frank Martin wasn't getting hit with silly stuff. The guy was pretty crafty and clever, right? So I thought he was defensively pretty tight, Frank Martin. And he was countering and he was looking for his shots. The only thing, the only advice is your mentor, your promoter is Errol Spence. And Errol Spence has the boxer puncher aggression. I think Frank Martin needs to just keep spending time with Errol Spence and maybe get some tips on how to turn up in different spots. He would get a lot more probably earlier stoppages and stuff like that if he didn't fight at the slower pace. But he wasn't making a ton of mistakes. The guy was just coming to fight. So it was a good seesaw battle, if you will, in the early rounds. And then the guy, you know, the guy was winning some rounds. Frank Martin was winning some rounds. Some of the rounds, neither guy did too, too much. And overall, that was the tone of a fight. They're jockeying for position. It's a chess match, completely different styles. One guy's patient, sharp shooting, trying to find his spots. Maybe could pick it up a little bit more and put together the explosive combinations that we know he could do. And then the other guy was just busy. He wasn't really hurting Frank Martin or 
rocking Frank Martin's head back crazy. Like you probably won't look at no like too many crazy, crazy photos of, you know, Frank Martin's eyes rolling in the back of his head and things like that head looking at the ceiling, stuff like that. So that was the tenor of the fight. For whatever reason, the bad and the ugly, the Showtime commentators, they didn't see it that way. Steve Farhood, by the midway point, said Artem Harutnan had won like five rounds or something. And I'm like, are we watching the same fight? Because it's not even that type of fight. It's really just a seesaw battle. Both are doing good work. Both are trying to win. Both just have different style. And that's really truthfully what I've seen. You know, I take nothing away from Art Artem Harutnan. He came to fight. But that's what should be expected. And the thing that's pretty shocking from Showtime commentary, they've been in the business for a while, and the commentators have been doing fights. So why did you underestimate an Olympic bronze medalist with a, a amateur pedigree and again of course a bronze medal in the olympics you guys got fighter meetings where you talk to the fighters and you could hear what they have to say see if they're confident see what they're you know they got a game plan they got a good staff team the guy was undefeated and between the fighter meetings and all these things how are the commentators acting like this artem dude was exceeding all expectations probably because you had very little for him and that's why they were saying stuff like oh i expected who expected him to be out of here frank martin should be looking better but that's not how you judge a fight a fight is scored round by round who's winning the round how many punches they're throwing effective aggression defense etc etc and it seemed like they were marveling at anything artem would do and it just wasn't that fight it was not a blowout type of fight now, Derek James obviously didn't like something he was seeing. Like he didn't, he, I think the pacing, he thought that Frank Martin could push the pace more. And that's smart from Derek James because he's the trainer, he's the coach, and you never know what judges are going to see. And even though the Artem dude, a lot of the shots were being blocked, dodged, parried, caught, and Frank Martin's defense was all in all on point. You never know what these blind judges are going to see. And they could just see that the guy is giving a game effort. So I think Derek James just ultimately wanted his fighter to just drive him back, explode, use your punches and combinations because he felt that the dude wouldn't want none of that. And as soon as Derek James said that, Frank Martin turned up on him. I don't remember the exact round where it first started, but he was like, give me a knockout. He said something like that, and it completely motivated Frank Martin, and he really started hurting Artem. And that was kind of the beginning of the end. And if you look at this, was a 12 round fight because for the WBC eliminator. If you look at this fight, after that moment, Artem really started to slow down. And then all of a sudden, the Showtime commentators they try to switch it and they say, Oh, Artem, we watched this other fight of his, and he slowed down in the last three rounds of the fight. But the whole fight, they were on his D. You know, and when Derek James started instructing his fighter to take no prisoners, show no mercy and get aggressive, that's where Frank Martin really started to show that he was, you know, on a different level. And he started chipping up this Artem, all that confidence, all that movement and fidgety, squirrely stuff that I mentioned earlier. All that was dead. It was over. Like it started to really like he started just losing rounds way bigger. And there was very little resistance. And then you start seeing him wink and blink and keep blinking. Listen, I am truly the best in the business. I swear, if you go look at my Twitter, everything I was saying as I was breaking down the fight was far more on point than the Showtime boxing commentators who are making it sound and making it seem as if Frank Martin was getting destroyed. And I told you, I said, I literally put out a tweet. I said, all that fidgety stuff that's going to settle down when he when he keep getting hit with them body shots and when he flattens out probably midway through the fight and and by golly that's exactly what happened and then the showtime commentators try to back off the block like oh this guy is known for not doing good in the last three rounds and he started really getting pieced up his eyes started really bothering him frank martin was being more aggressive he was looking beautiful as he was exploding pause with the combinations and then the guy's eyes started going away in the final round the 12th round it looked like frank martin was very close to stopping dude he was putting together nasty combinations he hit him with the nasty shot upstairs the artem dude is in retreat mode he's really in survival mode he had been blinking 
in the previous rounds and trying to buy time with the ref and saying he got headbutted, just all types of stuff like that. Frank Martin piled on the pressure and he had to chase his dude. He was literally running and he took a knee randomly. The body shot like it had a delayed reaction or whatever. And it looked kind of like Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia. And he just had to take that knee and he took the knee. This was about like a minute left in the 12th and final. And then for the remainder of the round, you had a predator style Frank Martin walking him down and just trying to catch him while the dude was fleeing and running. All that other stuff and the effective stuff that Showtime was saying he was doing was was dried up. I don't have a problem with anybody being realistic and just saying it was a close fight. You know, the guy, I had never seen him before, but he came to fight. But for me, I'm not surprised by that. This dude's an undefeated Olympian and a bronze medalist, and he had an interesting style pretty awkward speaking of awkward it goes to show you how off showtime's commentary was they literally said that this dude wasn't awkward i think it was abnormatis he literally said this guy's not awkward at all he said he doesn't see it but again i watched it if you watch the fight the guy was awkward he was an armenian dude who i think he had um, migrated to germany and he had an awkward style just watch the fight if you haven't seen it and showtime was saying he wasn't awkward in fact, there's another Armenian fighter named Vic Darchinian, and his style kind of reminded me of a prime Vic Darchinian. Real squirrely moves, unorthodox moves. Like he was moving his head in the early rounds when he was fresh. He was kind of moving his head weird and pausing. It, it's just, it was a different, pretty advanced European style of fight that you probably don't get to see all the time sparring in Texas and stuff. So it was good work for Frank Martin. Great learning experience. For Frank Martin and credit to the Harutin Yan guy he post fight he could have been like I was robbed I was robbed but he he just seemed like he was content like he didn't complain and say he was robbed but for whatever reason it looked like Showtime was trying to give him excuses and act like he really won the fight and it really it just to me it really wasn't that type of fight the only thing you could say is that Frank Martin when the dude was picking up the pace he could have threw more punches but you know that's something you can he got the victory you can work on in the gym for your next fight or if you rematch the dude or whatever and just to further illustrate my point and i'm not like a compu box dude where i look at every single compu box and sometimes it's pretty accurate in boxing sometimes it's not but they were making it sound like frank martin was getting blown out and you look at round one they both landed eight punches you look at round two martin landed eight punches and harutanon landed nine same thing in round three, eight, nine. Then you look at round uh, four, Martin landed 13 to Harutanon's eight, 12 and 14. So again, round six, Martin landed 30 punches to Harutanon's 11, right? And again, I think the harder shots throughout the fight were landed by the fundamentally sound explosive guy who was picking his spots, but... The busy work, the busy B type of boxing was so impressive to Showtime. That's why it just, it didn't even seem like they were commentators. They sounded like casual fans almost. And if you follow my channel, you'll know I've always been quality over quantity. I'd rather have one girlfriend that look great as opposed to 20 mud ducks and they're all ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want the 20 girlfriends when you have one chick and she's motivating you and holding you down and beautiful and got body you know what i'm saying so i'm always going to prioritize quality over quantity martin showed in one of the scoring metrics is defense he showed a better defense throughout his ring generalship was pretty good even though the guy was difficult and squirrely he was landing the harder shots he hurt Harutnan and shut his eye the man looked like jeff goldblum in the fly when he was throwing up on the donuts <laughs> And his eye was swollen shut. He had to take a knee. There was another round. In, in addition to him having a 10-8 round, taking a knee, there's another round where he got hurt and he was fleeing and retreating and running. And then his glove touched the canvas. The referee didn't call it a knockdown. But when your glove touches the canvas, it should be a knockdown. So technically, the guy got knocked down twice, but one was a blown call. He was trying to buy time. I just don't see what people seen. It was other than the fact that it was a good, tough back and forth fight. 
The guy came to fight. Frank Martin came to fight, but he pulled away. So all this making it like Frank Martin was getting dog walked by Showtime, when if you look at even the stats and the numbers, they were pretty close. Horrible night in the office for Showtime in terms of the commentary crew. I did enjoy the fight. Shout out to Frank Martin. Shout out to Artem Harutanon. Boxing Ego, full fight, recap, breakdown, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>